Happy Sunday, you guys. So I'm going to drop you guys a real quick light workers read, okay? So I'm in between doing personal readings, y'all. So if you have purchased one, stay tuned, okay? I'm working on them today, this evening, and into tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for your purchase and your support and all of the positive energy you deposit into my channel, y'all. So thank you for hitting the like button, subscribe button, and the thanks button if you're feeling generous. And so what I'm doing with the thanks um, when you guys send me those donations I'm going to be giving a percentage of them over to let me pull it out for y'all uh -uh. and if you want to actually donate to as well I'll leave the link to um, their website there but it's this young young man he um, passed away probably last year from a motorcycle accident and he was a student at Morgan State University and how you, you, you know, majority of you guys know I am a professor there as well. Um, and he passed away from a tragic motorcycle accident, okay? He was young, very young, and he was one of our star players at Morgan State for um, football. So his mom, um, she's a, a wonderful woman. I have interviewed her on um, a couple of my radio shows that I've done over the last couple of years. And she basically created a foundation, and it's called the Jordan Alexander Coalfield Foundation, Inc., you guys. Okay, so she's having a gala and fundraiser for him. But, of course, if you're not able to make that because you're not here in the state of um, Baltimore, Maryland, you can donate to her cause, okay? And um, let me tell you, Jordan was an amazing young man. I want to show you guys his... Um, picture if I can get it out let me see beautiful young man I don't know if y'all can see him yep and his name is Jordan Alexander Cofield okay and the mission of the foundation is it's just really just a one-stop um, is your one-stop shop for um, nonprofit organizations hold, hold on let me read that again Oh, okay, the Jordan Alexander Cofield Foundation is your one-stop not-for-profit organization dedicated to improving and enriching lives. We offer hope, healing, and restoration through financial literacy, health, and wellness education forums, career development, and mentoring services to promote total wellness for all. The Jordan Alexander Cofield Foundation thrives on providing essential tools and resources for healthy, happy, harmonious, and productive living. Okay, um... So if you could definitely donate to their cause, that would be so, so very appreciated. And of course, on on her behalf, we thank you. Okay, now let me jump into your light workers message. Don't forget, everybody is on a different um, stage of their journey. So I don't know what timeline you're falling on. But however, don't be discouraged if this is not your message, because this could be your message. All right. So I am a seer, which means I'm picking up on past, present and future energies, y'all. If you're being triggered by anything I say, please, I encourage you to face your mirror, flip these roles, take only what you need, okay, and leave the rest, all right? Um, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine energy as well, so you may have to flip that too. If you are new to tarot and you don't really understand, I could be saying he and your person is a she, okay? So just <laughs> make it apply how you can, all right? So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angelic Guides, for helping me with this light worker 3, 5, 15 p.m. here in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you so much for closing the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine will. I thank you for my true God showing up, helping me to deliver a message for my collective's highest good and so it is. What's the light worker's message, my spirit team? What you got for us? The key of light. Okay, so let me read that from the book. Archangel Michael loves you unconditionally and serves your soul journey. He brings you a spiritual gift now, the key of light. This key allows you to open any door clear away any obstruction and free yourself from any prison or enslavement physical emotional or psychological there is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into you now hold within you your hands a divine key that will assist you in many ways i love it y'all archangel michael has a message for you you have the power of the divine in you you have the ability to free yourself 
no matter whether it seems that another person, a set of circumstances, or the entire world holds more power than you. Your power of freedom is unconditional. It doesn't require that outer circumstances change in order for you to be free. Though, as you choose freedom, outer circumstances often change radically. For now, to be free, use the key of light. This means staying true to what you know for yourself. Gently and lovingly assert your truth now. Do not cave into naysayers and fear generators. Most especially, do not collapse under your own old fears or doubts. Gently and persistently cleaving to the light within will bring you through any apparent obstacles. Free you from any apparent prison and ensure your divine destiny is fulfilled. All doors shall be open to you. You are being given a gift of unconditional grace. Step back and radiate love from your center. That is your way. You do not have to betray your spiritual spirituality to fight. You can fight with love and trust that can be your way as spiritual warriors. In each moment you choose love and trust, you are fighting the good fight. You are learning that love is expressed in no as much as in yes. For when you fight against those who want you to deny the truth, you are standing clear and strong in your love and truth. Michael helps you re re realize the strength that you already have within you to do this. This oracle is a message for you to trust in your own ability to triumph right now. There, You are the key to success. You must believe in yourself. You don't have to force a door to open. In perfect time, according to divine grace, all doors will open for you. Your dreams and actions will prove themselves in time. No person, place, or thing has any power to hold you back. The key of light is spiritual permission from the universe to succeed in your life mission. You shall not be kept back from your divine destiny. You shall be empowered to succeed. Refuse to give up on your dreams. This may mean freeing yourself from situations or relationships that have enslaved or controlled you. When you are ready, this can be done with great gentleness, compassion, and strength. Free yourself with love, not fear. You may need to lock doors to the past behind you. With divine empowerment, you can completely and utterly allow the past to be over. You will find that new doors can then be unlocked for you. Okay, so here's the invocation to this and I'll read it slowly so you can read along with me or say it along with me. I call upon Archangel Michael in the key of light. I give thanks for this divine gift of liberation from any restraining circumstances. I give thanks for the opportunity to completely close any door. I choose and open any door. I choose. I am grateful to the loving encouragement of the universe reminding me that I will be successful in fulfilling my divine life purpose. May I be assisted by unconditional love to use my power of freedom with wisdom. May all beings be blessed by the grace of the divine so that the past ceases to hold them in pain and new opportunities of love can be accepted. May humanity open the door to light and love within. Through my own free will and through the unconditionally loving guides that serve human evolution, so be it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so the key of light You have been given the key of light here To open up doors here That's going to help you to be successful In your divine life mission Okay, so mm, You ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm ready y'all So, I know y'all ready Because y'all are definitely here with me King of Swords energy comes out So they're asking you to be very disciplined At this time and very clear in your thinking Make sure you're operating in your integrity, okay? And be committed, all right, to this journey. The Knight of Wands comes out in the reverse position, okay? So, yeah, don't run from this. <laughs> be courageous, energetic, and charming, and straightforward, and ready to get some things done, okay? The Chariot card comes out because you can overcome these challenges, all right? 
anything that comes your way, you got the keys. So take action, okay? Here with the Seven of Swords coming out. Even if someone's lying, scheming, if there's deception, if somebody's betraying you here, don't worry. These keys, this is why the truth is being revealed to you in so many ways here. You're getting so many truths that are coming to you from people, from the spirit realm and everything about the people who oppose you. On top of that, look at that, Five of Wands energy. The people who compete with you where, where there's adversity, it's like, yeah, the truth is being is coming out. So don't fold on what you believe in because you got the keys of light, okay? And these keys are going to help you to see through the lies and the illusions and to help you to see the truth in your situations here, all right? Seven of Wands, reverse position. I know it seems like it's a lot weighing down on you at this time, but don't doubt yourself. You got to keep fighting for what you believe in. You got spiritual support, okay? Five of Pentacles comes out here. All right, so please... <laughs> Don't doubt yourself. They're going to have these positive changes come your way. Just keep moving forward here, okay? Accept <laughs> is what I just heard. Accept the keys. Archangel Michael is like, here, I'm giving you the key here so that you can recover from whatever your losses are, okay? So that you can overcome the adversities here and improve your love life too. 11, 11 a.m. Mm. 11, 11 on my timer, okay? So if, even if you are experiencing a hardship, you got debt, unpaid loans, the person you love, y'all feelings ain't mutual or their feelings ain't mutual, whatever. Like it's not balanced. It's not harmonious. You having a difficult time communicating with these people, honestly, or they or vice versa. Don't worry. You're being given the keys. Okay. King of Pentacles in the reverse. So whoever this person is here, they're going to be free. Eight of Swords in a reverse position. Wow. So face your fears, whatever it is that you have about this situation here so that you can gain a clearer perspective about this. All right. So and, and that's what I'm just I'm hearing in all areas of your life. You're being given the keys. Page of Pentacles in the reverse position. All you have to do is to continue here on your life mission. OK, keep exploring these ideas that you are getting. Keep being ambitious and goal oriented. OK, um, whatever it is that you're trying to begin, start it because the time is now. You will succeed. You are capable of succeeding at this. 12.22 on my timer. Okay, so show, show your commitment to this aspect of your life is what I'm hearing. And whatever needs to fall away, let it fall away. Mm -hmm. Yep, five of swords and an emperor reverse. Wherever there's conflict, it may be time for you to actually release these situations and these people from your life in order for you to maintain the discipline that you need to be this powerful leader, okay? That will close out the cycle. Wow, the world card in the reverse. This person wants to take the steps to close out cycles, but they're not doing it. So it's a lot of delays and shortcuts. So this could be your, your twin flame for some of you or higher level soulmate. I doubt it though, because a higher level soulmate takes the steps. They, they they definitely will take the steps to make sure that they can accomplish here with you um, some things here, okay? But, yeah, a lot of times um, divine masculine energies usually move kind of slow on their part of the journey. They're more committed to the long term here with, with the feminine aspect is more committed to the now, right? Three of Wands in the reverse position. So, yeah, it seems like it's a lot of restrictions right now and it's frustrating and it could be holding, making you feel like you're not moving forward or progressing here. But you still have a very strong vision for your future. And I know for a fact, you know, being Divine Feminine light worker as well, a lot of times when our connections are strenuous, it kind of, it, it creates a distraction for us and it, it makes it hard for us to be able to fully um, move forward here on our journey and serve like we need to effectively okay so this is why i'm hearing that you may want to release these things here until this person actually goes through their transformation it's nothing that you can do from here only thing that you can do is continue to work on your own evolution okay um it's, it's no way that you can help them you can't force them to do anything or change they have to do this aspect of it on their own is what i'm hearing okay so keep your joy and keep moving forward but you're you're being give, given the keys here that's going to help you to finish here yep that's going to help you with your manifestations that's the card that came out wow 
Make it rain, baby. Let me find out. Showers or blessings are yours. You are a rainmaker, master manifester, shapeshifter, alchemist, and sorceress. So open your hands and heart because why? Archangel Michael is giving you the keys. <laughs> yes, make it rain. All right, you are manifesting big. This has been a long time coming. You are co creating with spirit. Match the energetic frequency, okay? The ass of your desires. You are magnetic and like attracts like. Raise your vibration to align with the sacred. Close your eyes and see your blessings. Fill them in your bones. Ask, believe, act, allow, receive. Okay? Divine blessings flow to me so easily is what you want to say. Okay? Divine blessings flow to me so easily. I had to repeat that for y'all. But you are manifesting. You are a powerful manifester. Archangel Michael here is helping you guys along the way. Okay? So continue with your earth healing. The universe sees you. All right? The divine sees you. You are doing a wonderful, magnificent job on your healing. And I definitely appreciate each and every last one of you for allowing me to guide you on your journey. I pray every single day that I am being efficient. Okay? So I don't want to mislead anybody. So I try to literally do my work coming from my higher self and not coming from myself right my my ego based thinking and things like that so i try to stay plugged in and, and stay connected here to spirit as much as possible here through the readings um i do have some people who have um definitely left comments that kind of can be disturbing but i'm not going to let that thwart me or my journey i know what i'm called to do okay and and sometimes you get um some really religious folk who are, it's so weird because it's like, look, if it's not for you, then go and let the message pass by the video while you're tuning in. <laughs> you understand? If you don't believe in tarot card reading and things like that and you feel like it's an abomination to the Lord, then uh, what would make you tap into the video, period, because you wanted to leave your message? It's so funny, right, how we're supposed to be servants of God, but here we can't even serve, but we can spend a lot of time judging, right? Judging somebody's journey, judging somebody's walk, judging how the divine has chosen each of us to do our work in our own different ways. Okay, it's like it's, all, it's more than one way to get to spirit, right? <laughs> We're called here to literally help. That's it. That's it. So you keep shining. Don't judge anybody else's walk or what they're doing and how they're doing it as long as it's bringing them to the light. It's what I'm hearing, okay? That's our purpose, to help raise the vibration of the collective. If we all were walking around here with the same religious beliefs, we only going to be helping what? One group of people, okay? We're not here just called to help Christians, right? We're here to help every last one, from atheists to Christians to Muslims to Buddhas, right? We're here to help everyone, humanity. So keep serving. You're doing a good goddamn job. Peace.